One of the many perks of living in Hong Kong is that mainland China is super accessible. And with this vast and convenient network of trains, it's super easy to travel to different cities for a few days or even for a long weekend trip. During my Easter weekend, I know it's been a long time since I posted this, I went to Kunming and Lijiang, which is in the province of Yunnan, the southwestern part of China. I've always wanted to go here because I was intrigued of the diverse culture and the delicious food. In Kunming, I visited the Yunnan ethnic village and ate cross-bridge noodles, and in Lijiang, I was upgraded to a rooftop suite, got surprised by its vibrant nightlife, and explored the natural scenery of the Jade Snow Mountain and the Blue Moon Valley. Let's go! Hey everybody, it's Jess here and I'm here to talk to you all about expat living in Hong Kong. So today I am in Kunming and uh, I only have like half a day here because I am heading to Lijiang tonight. Right now I'm just walking around the city. There is the stone forest, but that's about like a three hour train ride away. So I'm not gonna go to that. I know that's like the top one attraction in Kunming, but I'm gonna head to the cultural village right now. But I'm also really liking the vibe here. It's like definitely really slowed down. The roads are a lot wider and you feel so comfortable. Like yesterday I was walking to my hotel. I was like, this is so comfortable. Uh, there's so much space and the people here are nice and friendly and the traffic isn't very aggressive. It's a very safe city. I was walking down like some alleyways uh, and I wouldn't do that by myself in Canada, but I felt like you know, it was just very safe. Here we are, we've arrived at the ethnic village. So the park entry ticket is 90 Kwai, so 90 RMB. She asked me if I want to see a show at 2.30, but I don't have time. It's not too busy. I thought that it'll be like really busy. Okay, so there are different villages here. So there's a sign here. I can see there's like a Tibetan village, there's a Dai ethnic minority village, and people are just walking around here in their traditional clothing. And you can see the houses that they live in and you can see what they use in their daily lives it's more like a like a museum of like how the different ethnic minorities live here and I am seeing food I'm super hungry so I'm gonna beeline for the food this is like a food court there's like a bunch of like food court stalls here and right here you can see it's a beautiful view of the lake in the background so you can just sit by the river and have some food I saw some noodles I really wanted but there's like peanuts in it okay so I got some food and and it's quite hard because they do accept cash but they don't have any change and they accept WeChat Pay or Alipay and I just uh, applied for the mainland payment for my WeChat Pay it's gonna take like three days so this all came to like 22 uh, RMB but I gave them I only had like a 50 so I gave them a 50 but what I got is a baba which is a I guess a specialty here I got there's a salty one and there's also a sweet one so this one is a sweet one I can see it smells like there's, I don't know what this is, but is this like sweet bean? I'm not too sure. So fluffy and, and it was just a big round thing and um, it just cut it up into little pieces for me. And here I have a, a papaya drink. It's got some chunks of jelly or papaya, but it's also got like a sprinkle of sesame seed in it. Yeah. Mm. So there's a lot of Thai influence in the Dai ethnic minority. This temple right here really has uh, the Thai style. Okay, back in the city center and I have an umbrella because it's okay to have an umbrella in China. And also it's really hot. It's like 25, 27 degrees, but it feels a lot hotter here at 27 than it does in Hong Kong. I will be going to Li Jiang tonight. So I'm going to be leaving my hotel a little later. So I'm just gonna shop around. So in Yunnan, it's very famous to have Guo Qiu which is like the set that comes in like a box and then there's like the noodles in the center and then there are like multiple side dishes on the side I didn't have a very big lunch and I was like ravaged by the mosquitoes so I'm gonna have an early dinner 
So look at this, this is massive, it comes with a big box. I see there's like the uh, noodles, the mi xian, which is the rice noodles. And then you have the, the mushrooms, because Yunnan is known for their mushrooms here. And on this side there is there's two eggs, some ham, and there's like one shrimp. I think I'm supposed to uh, put it in this pot <laughs> together. <laughs> This is a massive bowl, but I'm gonna take it now. Mmm! Very good. It's got a bit of um, mala, kind of spicy to it. It's got a lot of peppers in it. There's like flower petals in here. Uh, I've never eaten a flower petal, so. Mmm! Mm. It's very interesting. <laughs> everyone so I just arrived in Lijiang it is midnight but I am so tempted to take a bath look at this they upgraded my room from like a regular queen bedroom to like the attic suite and this is amazing this is so beautiful if you look outside you can see like the whole Lijiang in the background and <laughs> it's so cute there's like a little like day bed here and there's also a um, like a little I don't know outdoor seating area I am so sad I'm only staying here for one night it's like in the old district on top of a hill and as we were driving up I saw that there was a night market and it looked pretty cool and I am very very tired but I think Lijiang is just beautiful at night and it's like a ways to not explore it even though I am so tired but I am going to go out I put on my comfy hoodie I'm gonna head out I'm gonna explore Lijiang and then I really really want to take a bath so let's see what time I come back back and take a bath. Then tomorrow it's gonna be another jam-packed day. I'm walking through the old town. It's a, it's a lot of young people here and it's like midnight but it's still so lively. It looks like there's like a party going on. I guess this is a Saturday night but yeah it is so lively. It's still so many people. I thought everyone would be sleeping. <laughs> bars are that is why oh look I'm passing by all the bars wow it's so lively here I feel like this is a bit like Yangshuo when I was in Guili Guili everyone's like partying on a Saturday night it's so lively there's like clubs going on I don't know why but I always feel like the big cities are okay but the small cities are it's like the fun ones, like Guiling and Yangshuo. Ah. Oh my god, this is so magical. Good morning everybody. It's just here and this morning I woke up to this beautiful, beautiful, amazing view in the background. Uh, Lijiang is beautiful at night. It's also beautiful in the daytime. I uh, woke up a little later because yesterday I was just going down and there was like a bar street and it's like bumping. Everyone's like partying. There's like live music. It is so lively here in Lijiang. I, I actually came back and then I took a bath <laughs> in this tiny bathtub. Sorry, in this bathtub. And uh, yeah, I just went to sleep at like 2 a.m. So this morning, uh, hopefully I can catch uh, the bus to the snow mountain. I always love the smaller cities more than like the bigger cities. The smaller cities just have so much character. Uh, this hotel I am staying in and it is like in the old city. So everything is like very, um, I don't know, like old and Li Jiang Yi. <laughs> the people there are very nice. They just made me a homemade breakfast uh, just for me. <laughs> and they upgraded me to this beautiful room. So uh, check out this hotel if you are visiting Lijiang. <laughs> there are so many like, <laughs> photography stores where you can just dress up with the uh, traditional costumes or the traditional wear of the people here. And then yesterday I was walking around and all these girls were just taking pictures with like their hair done, their makeup done, and this like beautiful, beautiful uh, costume. I kind of want to do that, but I don't think I have time. The thing to buy in Yunnan province is the rose pastries. They're actually had one today. The hotel gave me a matcha rose. Rose has got quite like a, like a bittersweet taste. And when you put it in a pastry, I don't know, it's, it's a very unique taste. You gotta try it. 
guys, so we've arrived at Jade Tiger Snow Mountain and I was looking for like a minibus to take me there but I was looking around couldn't find it so I decided to take a taxi so the taxi will take you to the tourist center here um, for a hundred RMB and it's about like a 40 minute ride from the old town okay so I'm not gonna go up the snow mountain because it looks crazy you have to get like oxygen mask and like a really heavy coat so I'm just gonna go to the blue moon valley it is just around the corner it's only $20 bus so I'm just gonna get the bus ticket and head to the blue valley mountain. okay so we have arrived so when you're on the bus don't get off at the first stop wait for the second stop which is the uh, end stop where you want to go <laughs> so actually this second spot is the blue moon bath they only say it in Mandarin so now we are here let's head down okay so we have arrived and the water is like turquoise blue just like Lake Louise in Alberta in Canada the mountains behind me look like the Rocky Mountains the water here look like Lake Louise am I in Alberta I don't know <laughs> I'm actually in China the water is crystal clear you can look inside the water and you can see the I don't know the algae uh, I actually have like polarized sunglasses so I can actually see inside the water so yeah really nice here's actually a lot of people right now it's about it's 146 it's like okay amount of people like it's not unbearable I read somewhere that they said that it would be better to come here a little earlier like 7 a.m. or 8 a.m. like no way am I coming that early I see like a big yak you can take a picture of the yak going back I'm not gonna take the hundred dollar taxi there is a bus 101 in front of the place and you just pay 15 RMB and I'll take you through like the a few stops and, and it'll also take you to the old city which I am staying at <laughs> definitely cheaper than 100 RMB Oh, the night market that I was looking for last night is here. I found it, but it's not nighttime and I'm leaving tonight. So, oh well. <laughs> Looks like there's a lot of really good food here. A lot of good street food, a lot of good stalls that are selling like clothes and cute things. What I like about the China stations is that there's these amazing massage chairs and I think I'm paying about 30 RMB for 45 minutes and these are amazing. 